As far back as you could remember, you always wanted to be a gangster. To you, being a gangster was better than being the High King of Skyrim or the Main back in Elsewhere. Even before you first wandered across the border of Skyrim, you knew you wanted to be a part of their Thieves Guild. They weren't like other chapters, they did whatever they wanted. It was there you knew you'd belong, and to you, it meant being somebody in this war-torn land full of nobodies. Never done an honest day's work in your life for all that coin you're carrying, eh lad? To be a gangster, a thug, a criminal in the land of Skyrim, you're gonna need to fall in with the right, or shall I say the wrong crowds. You're gonna need grit, you're gonna need skills, and most importantly, you're gonna need a gang. The first two you can handle yourself, but that last one, well, you're gonna need to make yourself useful. You found out too late the gang you joined was near rock bottom. Thankfully, there's a lot of opportunity in the rise to the top. As a gangster, you can't be afraid to get your hands dirty. Mercer, aren't you forgetting something? Oh yes, welcome to the Thieves Guild. So you're in, you're part of the Thieves Guild, a family of con men, pickpockets, jailbreakers, and all-round hustlers. As a gangster, crime is the name of the game, and breaking the law comes in all shapes and sizes. Intimidation, coercion, thievery and assault, and the guild may not like it, but sometimes you just gotta whack someone to ensure operations run smoothly. Though that's a sometimes thing, other times you just have to show them you mean business. Convince through combustion, light a little fire under their backside. Everyone in Skyrim's got a use. It's up to you to figure out if they're a mark to rob or a big shot with a big purse. When you've found a lucrative client, you do everything you can to achieve their ideal outcome. Reputation is armor, and this guild needs a new set. It's about time Brynjolf sent me someone with business sense. Repeat business opens more doors than the best slot pick ever could. It's a bottomless purse of payments that keep on coming so long as you keep delivering. But not every job you handle for someone like Maven will go off without a hitch. Other enterprising types, such as yourself, have more brains, more guts, and less willingness to cooperate than some debt-owing citizens of Riften. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I can't be expected to remember every deal I handle. Sometimes, sharp skills will succeed where a sharp tongue or blade could not. Remember, the tagline is Shadow Hide You, so don't let stealth be your weakest link. As a gangster, confrontation is an art form, and timing is your brush. Now there's no need to do anything rash. This isn't as bad as it seems. I was gonna tell Mercer about everything, honestly. Please, he'll have me kill. Maybe you do want to kill this slimy bastard, but what if he's more useful alive? Instead of gutting him like a Cyrodiilic spade tail, make him a friendly face. You're an entrepreneur with few boundaries, a man navigating the bribe-bent laws of this land. He's a helpful but unwashed hand, unloading goods of ill acquisition to the gullible. Throw in his East Empire Company connections, and it's a match made in Sovngarde. Now you're speaking my language. Consider me your new friend in the North. With new success comes new challenges, and you'll need to make an example of anyone who shows you disrespect. Sorry if I sounded so mean there. My brother always said I have a big mouth. But sometimes words aren't enough. Let me guess. Someone stole your... The way you deal with things may get you in trouble with the law, but it's nothing you can't handle. And sometimes you ain't done nothing anyway. You'll never see the sun again. Later on, you may even find yourself working with the law to take out competition. That is, until the law works for you. I can make all your problems with the guards go away, but it'll cost you. Investing in skills and connections is part of the job, but you'll want to invest in legitimate business too. A clean funnel for dirty money in convenient locations around the province. If the profits are fat enough, you'll do deals with almost anyone, even a god. Hey, come to think of it, I know of a win-win situation for both of us. Just make sure you put a stop to any truly disgusting behavior before it can derail your real aims in Skyrim. With all this action, you'll build more wealth in a few weeks than the general city riffraff who follow the rules and work the same jobs day in day out ever will. That life sounds maddening to you, but being a gangster also takes its toll. Make time to blow off steam, however it is you do that. You'd never turn down a fun challenge, but don't go too far. Your actions will see you get your hands on an extensive menu of expensive treasures. Just don't lose sight of growing your own power and not a huge collection of useless trinkets. If you don't need it, you can probably sell it. Well, well. I was looking for this little beauty. 
After all, what are you, an antique collector? Maybe you are. I guess there's nothing wrong with sprinkling some extra moon sugar in the soup. But remember, the two best things to collect are people and favors. It doesn't matter where you are in Tamriel, people are everything. You may feel like a one-man army, but without people, you've got no one to help, no one to rely upon, no one to steal from. A gangster always keeps track of who's in his debt. Those ungrateful for your help are not only snakes, they're liabilities. Remember, you're not the only one in this world trying to hustle people out of their hard-earned coin. So keep an eye on everyone, even those who've always had your back, especially them. Judging people wrong can get you in all kinds of trouble. Make sure your loose ends are dead ends. The last thing you want is someone out of your head, or worse, your septums. Sometimes a knife in the dark can be from those you call your friends. Just don't take these things personally, it's part of the life. And you know better than anyone that breaking the rules brings in more coin and more power than breaking bones ever could. Separate yourself by having principles. Sure, on rare occasions, you might kill someone standing in the way of business, but you're not an animal. You're not one of those do-anything Dark Brotherhood scumbags who will whack any innocent lady for a pot of gold, even on their wedding day. See to it personally that any impartial tools your enemies could hire get buried. Criminal competition should deal with you head on or not at all. If any rival gangs emerge, snuff them out and turn their operations to cinders. There's been no word from the remnants of the Somerset Shadows, so I'm assuming you either eliminated all of them, or they've fled Skyrim. But sometimes you have to get creative. If there's a book to forge or an uncooperative target to frame, you're on the front line. Sometimes we just like to remind the city that we mean business, so we hit them hard. Just steal whatever we can until we made an impression. You didn't start this ragtag group of criminals, but you'll be responsible for putting them on the map as a force to be reckoned with. You'll make this gang into a true enterprise, growing it faster than a Khajiit on Skooma, bringing in fresh blood eager to help and more gold than they can fill their pockets with. Speaking of Skooma, you wouldn't be much of a gangster if you didn't get involved there. Ah, moon sugar. I could smell it on you. Take my word to the leaders of your guild and tell them we look forward to a prosperous and profitable future. But the most powerful connections for the guild aren't criminals at all. At least not in any organized sense. Tell Delvin that he has my support and all the weight it carries in Whiterun from now on. He can count on me to provide the influence around here with the right people when he needs it. And by the end of it, you'll feel like you practically own Skyrim. Convey my compliments to Delvin for me. Tell him I'll be happy to reopen whatever doors he needs in solitude. You may not say it, but your assistance always has strings attached. Lots of strings. And you'll be plucking them like a six-fingered bard. Your connections will help things run smoothly, providing you with flowing wealth and a whole deck of get-out-of-jail-free cards. Ultimately, you'll be recognized as the one in charge. But for a gangster, leading the biggest criminal organization in the province isn't enough. Nothing is ever enough. You're not a walking charity. Sometimes you've got to do things for you and you only. And don't forget somewhere to lay low, and maybe a mask to make yourself disappear. Master of the Thieves Guild, fane of many holds, with enough power and wealth to last nine lifetimes. It's your world, and they're just living in it. But nothing lasts forever. You've got your pile of gold, you've built your empire, maybe you've got a family at home. Question is, will you be able to keep it? <laughs>